A fourth-year student of IIT Guwahati was detained yesterday, as he was traveling to join the ISIS terror group. India summoned the German deputy chief of mission in New Delhi, and conveyed a strong protest against the comment of the German Foreign Office spokesperson on India's internal affairs. The Indian Army's Western Command conducted a successful firing exercise involving the Akash missile system, and it demonstrated the system's effectiveness against modern aerial threats in real-world scenarios. China has unveiled a new heavy attack helicopter designated as Z-21, that bears resemblance to the American Apache. The Indian Navy is on high alert, and the Chinese missile tracking vessel Yuan Wang-3 is under constant surveillance, even if it tries to evade detection by turning off its identification systems. Two Chinese Coast Guard ships fired at the Philippine supply boat with water cannons near a disputed South China Sea shoal, causing heavy damage to the wooden vessel. The RDO's gas turbine research establishment is very close to announce the foreign partner for 120 to 130 kilonewton jet engine development, and the contract will be signed later this year, that will propel the AMCA Mark II, that is scheduled for production by 2035. Industry sources have said, that the co-developed engine will also propel 90 TED BF carrier-based fighter jets and potentially find its way into the Tejas Mark II fighter jets during their midlife upgrade by mid-2040. The DRDO is developing a mobile 30-ton high-power radar, that will be a crucial component of the upcoming 400 km range LRSAM program. The program is currently in its initial design phase, and the complete system is expected to be ready for operational deployment by 2028. It will complement the Russian S-400, and will be able to detect and neutralize stealth fighters, conventional aircraft, ballistic and cruise missiles, precision-guided munitions and unmanned aerial vehicles. After successful installation of the RDO's naval anti-drone system on frontline Indian Navy warships, the Navy is moving ahead with the planned incorporation of loitering munitions on frontline warships, that signifies a strategic move towards long-range engagement of sea-based targets. The CEO of UAE's Edge Group has proposed the transfer of Altaric smart weapons technology to India, enabling local production by Bharat Dynamics Limited, that could lead to significant benefits for both countries. Edge Group and Hindustan Aeronautics have already initiated a joint program to integrate Altaric weapons with the Tejas aircraft, and the integration will be completed later this year. Today's top 3 comments.